Next, we have the Rieger begonia, which oh. is probably one of the more common house plants that most people will have. They bloom off and on year round. Mm -hmm. They have these great kind of pendulous blossoms. They are beautiful. Lovely plant. Come in a variety of colors, generally oranges, reds, yellows, peach, even light yellow, close enough to white almost. Ah. Oh. So you can use them to match any decor you have. That's right. Centerpieces for your dinner party. <laughs> now these need quite a bit of sun, as I understand. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. They tend to like, as we were mentioning, a south or a west window. Right. A nice bright window. Uh, they like to dry slightly. Let the soil surface go dry before you water thoroughly. Just on top? Just on top or maybe a quarter inch down. Mm -hmm. Uh, try not to get water on the foliage because they can sometimes get a fungal disease called powdery mildew. If you water too frequently or if you get water on the foliage or if it's too cool sometimes that it will get this disease. It's easily taken care of with most fungicides. But that's one thing just to look out for. And you can pick up a fungicide at Johnson's Flower Center that's if you right, want to, I bet. <laughs> Us or any other good garden center. <laughs> Okay, now if you do keep these in a south or a west window, your chances are very minimal that you'll get the powdery mildew, but it is something to look out for. Now what about fertilizing with these? Do you recommend a blossom booster or Ex African violet type food? I for like blossom the booster. Mm -hmm. um, generally twice a month, uh, the normal recommendation, kind of March through October. Uh, they can bloom off and on all year, especially with good fertilization. And these will just keep growing and get big and they eventually fall over the pot too, right? So you could use them in a hanging basket. Exactly. And there mm -hmm. are different varieties. They're actually a family of tuberous begonias, which are a bulb-like plant. And many different varieties, which are even more inclined to drape over the pot that you can get and start <laughs> from bulbs yourself. Oh. Well, this is gorgeous. And it gets even more gorgeous if you take good care of it. Now, what about this one as far as outdoors? Is this one that you would plant out in the ground? You can, once again, after mm -hmm. last chance of frost. I would put it in a shaded area outside, though, because uh -huh. full sun inside is almost like part to full shade outside. The difference in intensity is great. I would put it in a semi-shady area, and they would go all summer like an annual planting of geraniums or impatiens. Well, that is good to know. If you want something a little different for your garden, check into the Rieger begonia. That's what this is. Okay, and now what do we have? Well